So a different kind of video for us today, uh, something I've been wanting to do for a while. Basically it's just like set reviews, uh, whenever there's like a notable set that I enjoy and kind of want to cover, well, I'll check it out. <laughs> do a little bit of my own commentary on it, um, talk about why I thought it was interesting, and stuff like that. So before we get started, just to let you know, I got Discord down below. Good fighting game community, we're starting a book club if that's something you're interested in. Uh, we got net play roles for Melty, Plus R, VSAV, and Exert. Uh, if that's something that interests you, go check that out. But let's get into this set. I think this set's really interesting because we take two very zoning heavy runaway characters. Crescent Moon, Makasui, very good long normals and a lot of air control where we have White Lin who's very good in the air, can run away really well with a lot of zoning tools. Now they're facing each other and I think there's a lot of interesting applications of when the zoner has to aggress in the set and it's overall really cool. <laughs> so let's get right into it. So as you see, uh, Mekasui has this jetpack thing that's really good at controlling that like vertical, uh, vert horizontal, diagonal, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that 45 degree angle. Just really, it's really hard for uh, White Lynn to get in because that's like where she really wants to be. She wants to be in the air running away, throwing out a uh, bunch of ice stuff. And as we are seeing, it is very difficult for White Lynn to get in. Uh, Akimi is doing a very, very good job zoning where Deus has to kind of figure out how to get in. He's trying to be the aggressor in this matchup. It's what it seems like so far. And then now we have <laughs> Mekasui just playing pickleball with uh, White Lin right here. <laughs> that combo went on really long and I thought it was kind of cool. Even though most of that combo at the end was doing such, such little damage, but it went on for a while and looked really cool. I liked it. I, the, the illusion dash of White Len always confuses me. I'm not entirely sure how it works. It's probably something I should look into just in case I ever play against this character. Nice initiative heat coming out from Deus. Trying to navigate the wall. Nice ice spike. Trying to contest, contest some of that zoning pressure, but just all those missiles and jetpacks coming out like crazy can be really hard to deal with. But they, he does have Akimi in the corner now, but Akimi takes back her turn. Dropping the bomb on him. Trying to get out of the corner now, but gets caught uh, blocking all of those jetpacks, and Akimi is able to convert off of them. using the grounded ice ball to kind of contest some of that zoning pressure. So if Akimi is, you know, committing really, really hard to controlling the airspace with jetpacks, uh, I can definitely see that fireball uh, becoming uh, something that they got to work around. Ooh, nice throw tech there. See what Deus can get off of keeping Akimi in the corner. She does escape. Seeing that fireball come out again. Escapes from the corner. Gets caught jumping in the air. It's un oh, <laughs> he, he was high up there. That was, yeah, I would have been confused and got hit in that situation as well. <laughs> Mashing on the illusion dash. But Deus is able to get out of it. Oh, the arc drive. The arc drive is really difficult to deal with. I'm pretty sure it's just, like, just one of the best in the game. Uh, just super plus. Deus coming from the sky yet again. Unfortunately, Akimi is able to get a punish off of it. Trying to get in. Using that grounded fireball again. Nice. The charge into illusion dash was definitely very tricky. See this pressure, awesome corner pressure. Oh, this is that corner pressure looks really cool, and that was a very sick ending. Holy crap, that was very smooth. Jumping 
jumping over the jetpack, but gets air thrown for it. So Deus is now in the corner. Let's see what happens. Throw it all the way across stage, and Mekasui, as we know, can definitely combo off of that. Alright, nice, nice. And then it's looking like a perfect for Akimi. Alright, Deus is able to get Deus is able to get in very cleanly there. And just playing it patiently, looking for an opening. Jumps over the jetpack, throwing some projectiles in the air. Blocks jetpack and gets punished for it. And we're expecting big damage here. Oh, oh okay. Uh, corner, corner Oki. Got a blood heat. I didn't see how much uh, health that gained back. But. Gets punished for throwing out the grounded fireball. And we are in the corner again. I think this, is this it? Yes, that's going to close out the game. So, the reason why I wanted to pick out that set is I thought both of those characters were really... They're really cool because they're interesting zoning characters, but uh, overall Melty is like known for being like a very aggressive game. And I like I just wanted to showcase some of the zoners and what they do when they face each other. Because that's, like, that's a rare matchup, I think. You don't see a lot of Mekasui or White Len, at least in my experience. So, let me close out some of these tabs. And they're both like really known for being zoners. And so, let me know what did you thought of just like just one of these like basic set review things. It's something I might want to do more often, just to fill out more content. I really don't know what multi content to make. I still have those character overviews that I could do, but this is something that is um, pretty repeatable. Something I can do a lot of, and whenever big tournaments come around. I can kind of showcase the competitive scene because there's a lot of like really dedicated competitors to MBAC and they're really good at the game. And there's it's such a fun game to watch. But as always, if you like this kind of content, let me know. I would love some feedback on it. Uh, just leave a comment down below or ping me in the Discord. And as always, keep pressing buttons and have a good rest of your day.